y'all. How y'all doing? Me and my kids don't have nothing better to do now. We all in the same house and look. We on the phone. We FaceTime each other. <laughs> we got that best doing. We FaceTime each other, girl. We so sad. <laughs> we so sad. <laughs> we got nothing better else to do with our life. Look, Andre. Andre, why you looking like that? For real, you don't want to got in the light so we can see him. <laughs> I swear we ain't got nothing else to do, boy. They need, they get rid of FaceTime. We gonna be messed up. <laughs> oh, I can't see you. You, you can't see all that beauty, this girl. Don't be hating. While I poke them dots on your forehead. <laughs> okay, y'all. Talk y'all later. Bye. Oh. FaceTime now, me, Jeff, and Andre in the house. And we don't put Willie. We don't put Willie. <laughs> we ain't got nothing better else to do. For real, Willie, you had that shirt when you was in the field grade. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> Willie, how you gonna squeeze your little self up in there? $40. Girl, you think I get myself up in this? <laughs> For fun, dog, I can squeeze my little self up. <laughs> yeah. Looks Andre taking over the face tag. Oh my God. What you want, Andre? Well, no, we ain't got nothing better to do. <laughs> Jab it on the toilet. Nobody wanna play no robots right now. That's all Andre talk about is robots. Say hi to the vlog, y'all. Say hi. What? I ain't gotta put a robot on your phone now. Oh my god. I'ma hang up on him. Good morning, you all. Happy Sunday. We can walk about looking like a stranger danger. <laughs> stranger danger, stranger danger. Of course, I am too. I washed my hair last night and I just called myself, um, I called myself greasing it this morning because I did not put no leave in or conditioning last. I don't know what I was thinking about when it come down to condition. But, um, yeah, so I called myself trying to do flat twists. You can tell this side here, I really can't get the hang of it. This side is much tighter than. <laughs> the other side but anyways um i'm up this morning well it's about to be 12 o'clock yeah in five minutes i'm gonna do something to this girl head here so therefore she don't look have to look like stranger danger so i'm actually about to put some plaques back in like i had a rubber band plaques that's what we're doing right the rubber band method plaques mm -hmm. yeah can you say you gotta redo it yeah. Can't girl you go to school looking like this Oh, Lord, she got a lot of dead hair. I want to just cut it. Just cut it. Cut it? Yeah. Because I, I need to cut a lot of it because it's mm -hmm. actually real dead. Like Please this. do. I've been asking for it. Ooh. Please do. And it's going to chop it all off. Oh, my God. I'm going to go back to that low cut. I'm, I'm going to chop some oh. off, but not all of it off. But it's going to be a great amount because it's so dead. But I'm going to grease it up um, too while I'm doing it. This is why I tell her to keep it greased or grease it when it be up in these plaques and stuff like this. Because usual plaques and stuff used to help her hair grow, but... Hmm, child. Child, you 16. You should be able to do, uh, do something to your head. Mm -mm. Jesus, girl. But anyways, y'all, I'll be back um, once I'm finished with her hair. Okay? Oh, I just want to come on and start this little vlog this weekly vlog. I think this is what it's going to be. Each of the runaways, if she gets
is to keep the door open. Y'all, two hours later, because, honey, I'm tired already. I started at 12 o'clock, though. So, I guess I'm going pretty fast. What I tried doing is basically just making the, the rolls with the rubber band, then go back and put the braiding hair on it. It seems like it's been helping me pretty fast, and I'm trying to make them big so they don't be too heavy on her head and stuff, but... I'm going to start around this part here, around the front, because I think I'm going to run out of hair, but just to be on the safe side, just in case if I do, she can put it up in a ponytail. Then I just get another pack tomorrow. Yeah. Try to try to curl the ends. I don't know. We'll see. All right, y'all, so I'm done, finally. It's like seven something. I was trying to go to six, but you know, you got to take breaks and everything. And she's crying for her head. Like, is this the same as like the other time or a little bit more different? Huh? It's a little bit different than what it was last time. Last time it was a little bit bigger too. We do. So. Yep. Oh, child, I'm glad I'm done. Wish I had some what you call so I could curl it at the end, stick it in some hot water to curl it. I have to probably see can I, if I remember tomorrow, I'll probably stop and get some of the little curls and things so I could stick it in hot water. But, baby, she is done. All right, Queens and Kings. So, today it is Monday, I believe. Yes. So we're going to do a little voiceover at this point here because they had so much music playing in the stores, all the stores at that, um, which I went to several stores. I wasn't really looking for nothing particular, just for trying to, you know, peep your head in, you know, when you do things like that, which I went to Didi's as you all seen. And here now I'm at Ross. But you know how when you peep your head into stores, when you're not looking for nothing particular, you actually find things like that. Those would be the best treasures because when you look for a certain thing, you never do find it. And then here is a new Marshalls um, close by my home. So I decided to pop my head in there too as well to see what they had going on, see what's on sale and stuff, which you see they still got some Easter stuff put out and stuff like that. But mm, I ain't wanted nothing like this in particular. I just was looking at it. You know, anything sparkles to me is really pretty. But these here, I do have um, two sets of these. I have a small one and a big one. And then I've seen these little bees here, which I see a lot of people actually styling with these bees. I don't see people have them in their bathroom, console table, coffee table, stands, you know, wherever, you know. So they are a good um, decor piece that you can use many ways, many ways I have seen and been used. But you see, this Marshall has had several. Now, this is what I was looking for. It's a comfort. Y'all know I'm looking for a white comfort. I'm always looking for a white comfort. That one that I got on my bed now, baby. It's just gonna have to be a um an insert for a, a duvet or something but this one here i think was like fifty dollars i believe i believe that's what it was but then again it could have been more expensive than that because i'm not even sure why i didn't pick it up at this point here not even sure but i know i need another white one so maybe just because i wasn't ready to buy a white one but I still don't understand why I didn't pick this white one up. Because when I try to go back, I'm quite sure it's not going to be there. But anyways, then I ran across some pillars here. These little Kevin Klein pillars, which these was on sale. Pretty good, decent price. Um, Well, not pretty good, decent price. But I feel like it could have been a little cheaper than that. Because I mean, it's hot right now. Ain't nobody trying to buy no fur like that. Girl, no. But there were some pretty colors, though. I love the um color of the blue and the green. But then I seen these here. Now, I don't seen... These on YouTube several times where people have style them in their homes. Um, feather down pillars. These are the best pillars to pretty much get. So you can do that famous karate chop and stuff like that if you're into stuff like that. But if not, you just want it for the decor purpose, get it. Not sure how much those was though. But then I ran across these here with the little vase with the pompous. I was just browsing, y'all. I was like, well, you know what? Let me do a little recording. I, I got to get back into the groove of recording and everything. And this vase here, I done seen this several places too. It's in all colors. What in the world is going on? No, I'm not. Oh, my Lord. What look like me? I'm sure y'all would jam say look like me. I don't see the resemblance. 
I don't see it. Yeah, we got the picture. What's he? What picture? Look. And that look like mine. Do that look like me? <laughs> I don't. Do you see? Do you tell us look like you? Look, look. <laughs> do, do that look like me? It be your own kids. It be your own kids. Oh, get your pole. Get out my face. Get out my face. Mom. Y'all close Mom. the window. Come skate. Hey, Queens and Kings. Happy Tuesday. So I'm just getting off work and I'm on my way to the dentist's office because I need to go get a um, full debridement done, get my deep clean done. Um, I need to also let them give me the x-rays and all that stuff they're done because of some fat. I have a tooth that is very sensitive in my mouth. It's more, it feels more like a travel pain. Like I won't eat nothing on this side or whatever because baby, it's just the little pressure to it, the little pressure. <laughs> Honey, she just make me just stop in the middle and just let the pain just go ahead and just move on by the cell. And y'all know the crazy thing is a fun fact about me. I don't know did I mention this or not. I think I did a long time ago though, but I think that was on my DIY channel. Y'all know that I am a certified expanded function dental dental assistant. Like I got my certification and all that stuff there, like probably about 10 years ago. Cause I know, you know, probably maybe longer than that. What year this is, girl? 2022. Yeah, and I moved up here. When I first moved up here before I met Dre was in 2000. 10 or 12 or something like that. It was right after I um, graduated and stuff. So yeah, about 10 years ago. Yeah, about 10 years ago. Now, why I'm not in that field, because it definitely make more than what I'm making now, baby, is because when I got out of school, you know, they always say job placement. It was no damn job placement. Um, after I did my little internship, I think we did internship like probably about three months or whatever. It was no job placement. It wasn't no damn job offers going on. And then when you're trying to go work in somebody's office for free, for free, knowing that you got bills, that's kind of hard to do because you have bills. But then again, you need to get more of the experience up though because that three months, they didn't count. They, they want to do on the job, like physically in the office, like their five days a week, which that's what my internship was but it still wasn't good enough. Like they still want you to have more experience up under your belt. Like tell somebody was hot. Cause I mean, I tried, I tried, I even tried up here in Orlando. Orlando wanted me to have some type of insurance or they weren't willing to put the insurance on me. So it was real crazy, it was real crazy. To the point I just gave up on it. I was like, you know, it's so frustrating. I got bills coming in, like I need to work, but I was willing to still leave my job and go work on somebody office they work at the office for a couple hours to you know just to get some hours in but i couldn't find no work couldn't find no work so so i'm not doing that but what i know now i wish i knew then i don't pretty much push and push myself or went back to school to do hygienists because a lot of um assistants always said with hygienist I mean with um assistant always said um it that didn't work out for them so they went and it would be a hygienist so that worked out better for them because you make your own schedule and all that but what I wanted to do was work with um endodontist I think that's what it, I can recall a uh, root canal especially yes so endo I think it's right but that's what I wanted to do I didn't learn that in school we wasn't taught nothing about specialists, nothing. It was all about general work, you know. In general, I grew to hate general because it's everything across the board can come up on that goddamn schedule. <laughs> I could have been a, just did a goddamn um, help a dentist, um, a doctor with doing a fucking extraction. Now, that's one thing about expanding function. I was able to do everything the dentist, the office, the doctor could do but I couldn't do it scratch. That's how they were explained to us. I don't know how it is now. I'm quite sure a lot of things have changed or whatever, 
but yeah um so you know you have everything across the board so i was like nah this is not what i want to do i want to find something that's going to be pretty much the same thing over and over the only thing different was the patient and how deep i need to go up in the you know <laughs> and that was pretty much a root canals i enjoyed the seeing people do root canals, the whole setup and everything about it, and just handing the doctor the tools that he's gonna need to get the depths of the whole, of, you know, stuff like that. I enjoyed it because I'm a creature at habit, so it was the same thing over and over. That was That's fine with me. That's make my life easier. You get what I'm saying? That's the reason why I like it. But, yeah, child. I'm about to go to this dentist to see what they're gonna say, because I know I need to get a cleaning done, and I need to get an x-ray done, because I have not been to this office here in so long, so therefore I know I need to get all that done. Um, and speaking of that, I need to set the kids up appointment, but where I'm going is they don't have it for kids, it's more like adults and stuff. So, I need to set the one up, because Andre's still losing too, too as well. But yeah, so. I'm going to get that done and see what they can tell me because, you know, child, how they had to teach us in school. Anything coming out your mouth is a little bit cheaper. But anything going in, baby, it's an arm, a leg, an ear, toenail. Girl, listen. I, girl, listen. So, so yeah. But, yeah, I got to go because I'm self-conscious of this side of my smile. I have a beautiful smile until I physically feel like if I smile for real big, I have a missing tooth over here and I'm very self-conscious of that's why I have the camera so much on this side. That's why I film more on this side because I don't like that. I don't like that. Mm -mm. And I try not to buy, um, buy a smile big or anything like that so therefore people can't see it or whatever. But honey, it took me four hours to make the decision to get this tooth out my mouth because of the simple fact I know what it can do. Like it messes up your smile. Besides your smile, it's messed up your speech. Um the way you pronounce words and stuff like that. All of that child, all of that. <laughs> so yeah. But I'm gonna go ahead and go to this office and I will talk to you guys a little bit later. Cause I need to stop by the house first and get my card. Because I forgot. Yes, that's me. All right. Y'all gonna get y'all's teeth done. Y'all wanna get your teeth done. <sighs> All right, y'all. So I done made it back. I made it back. I'm sitting in the parking lot right now. I tell you guys, my gums are irritated. Irritated. Oh, they did a deep clean. You hear me? I found out that I got to get Trey face turn. Trey look like slob. But I noticed that when I was down to my mom, I was like a tan or something. Hold on. Okay, so sorry I wasn't able to come back after this conversation. After I got the phone with Dre, because I finally just went in the house because my gums are a little irritating or whatever. So now I'm here, basically I'm jumping into my second job. That's mother mode and stuff like that. Wife, all that good jazz and stuff. Where I'm basically gonna start off with a um loader clothes that I need to wash and then I already have a load on top of the um dining room table too as well that I washed the day before and I just didn't want to get to it but I was like you know what let me just go ahead and do it let me do it while I have the energy and the spirit to do it because I was tired I was exhausted it was a long day I didn't even get to tell y'all what happened at work where me and another officer not an officer um employee got into it about me basically speeding around him because he was going too slow but i actually thought he was slowing down so i went on around him and child kind of found it had to be somebody dealing with the safety committee so child he was basically trying to chew me out about it so me and her had a little few words that was respectful i was very respectful because at the end of the day i'm not gonna let nobody else take food out of my house but 
bro man didn't like my response back to him. <laughs> so, child to the point that he was threatening to get me fired. I said, well, you do what you got to do, sir. <laughs> and you have a great day. Because you is not about to mess up my day. I was having a good day. Shit, he wasn't ready to mess up my day. But anyway, y'all, so that was um, part of my day, too, as well, which I totally forgot to tell you guys, like I said before. But, yeah, so we got a, a load of white clothes going on here at this moment here. And we're going to start on these clothes that's on the table, baby. Because, like I said, I started these the other day. I don't like doing laundry, y'all. I really hate it to the max. I hate it to the max. I really hate it to the max. I don't know who else enjoy doing laundry. I'm that one that I will wash them. But, baby, you need to put up your own stuff. I don't be with. I don't even want to do Andre's song. Because it seems like kids have the most million pieces to fold to hang up to put away to sort out and everything then you can never find the matching socks now when i put them damn socks in the washer i put it as a pair come out as a fucking single so yeah <laughs> but who else hate doing laundry as much as i do because i hate it i dread it but i really was pushing myself at this moment here you know, it really was, but I was beyond tired. I still am at this moment, so I, I apologize for the little drag of my commentary of my voiceover. The queen is done. It's a wrap. So that little week that I took off of not doing anything pretty much, other than what I'm showing you guys here at this moment here, it didn't, it didn't help me. It didn't help me. So next time I decided to do something like this, I'm not going to record nothing at all. I just be behind or just don't catch up or whatever the case may be. But, yeah. So I'm going to um, continue sorting out the laundry, doing everybody laundry, folding them up, putting them away and stuff like that. And I'll be back with you guys a little bit shortly. But if you're a new Queen of King here stopping by, please give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new, like I said. Hello, my name is Valerie. And if you a Oh, Royal T. Hello, Queen and King. Thank you guys so much for being patient and understanding with me till I got back. Because, honey, y'all almost didn't get this week neither. <laughs> but, anyways, Queens and Kings, I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. And it's pretty much what, how I get it all done. Pretty much what I do. If I get into that spirit that I'm going to cook and clean and do all my household duties. So, pretty much gets it all done. I am out of place And without you I am just a trace I love you With all of my heart Together forever Never to part I wanna be with you always Cause that is what my heart says that's what my heart says. I wanna be with you always, always. Yeah. You are my world in every place. Oh, it's the things I do, do. It's the things you do, baby. And it's the smile on your face, smile on your face. And it's time goes by. I know, I know that So what? Once I get this laundry all sorted out, because I'm pretty much doing the rest of it off camera, because I don't want to bore y'all out your mind. I'm just sorry, because I hate doing laundry. But I'm going to move on over here to the living room, tighten it up, um, you know, fold this bed on back in, get things sorted out. So therefore, I can pretty much go ahead and start the cooking. What I'm going to do, um, help Andre with his homework. I end up helping him with his homework um, a little bit later after I done fed my face and his face. To the point i was like oh my god i forgot let me go through this boy book bag whatever but this is pretty much what andre would sleep at um if he don't go sleep in the room with jasmine honestly he didn't sleep in here last night the bed just was out because he slept with me i was like boy get out get out get out get out your dad is not here so i don't even want you here i want to have the bed to myself Matter of fact just go work with your dad overnight so i can enjoy this peace and quietness <laughs> But, yeah, so this is usually what I would do once I come home for work. Like I said, get things all done. That's if I'm really into the spirit of doing it all I need to do in one day. Because I feel like if I could get the most of it done in one day, 
the next day I can pretty much rest. I don't have to worry about it or it being in the back of my mind saying I need to do this or I need to do that. So yeah, that's pretty much what I'm doing here after work. Come home, we do some cleaning, some cooking, help with some homework. Y'all know the usual, y'all know the usual. So that's pretty much what I'm doing here. And now I'm in the kitchen now, basically getting ready to, pre to prepare for to cook dinner, which you guys will see pretty much shortly. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and wash these little bit of dishes, child, because, you know, it ain't going to get done if I don't get it done. So that's what I'm going to do. So it's going to be, I think I'm going to tell you guys pretty much what I'm going to be cooking a little bit later. So I'm not even going to bore you guys with it, because as you all can see right now, honey, we got some pork chops on the counter that I set out last night to thaw out, so therefore I can cook it today. Should, is there anyone else? Well, I you know what. I shouldn't even ask that question because I'm quite sure it's a few of you all out there because I'm not on this planet by myself. But the question is, who else have to clean the kitchen before they can actually cook? Like, I could not cook in a dirty kitchen. <laughs> so that's basically why I'm doing these dishes here because, you know, I was raised up as you clean as you go anyway. So therefore, it'd be less stuff that you have to do once you, after you finish cooking and stuff like that. So that's pretty much what I'm doing because, honey, I cannot, I cannot cook in a dirty kitchen. It just feel like it's contagious or feel like whatever the dirty particles or whatever just going to jump into the pot of me cooking. I don't know. I might just be doing tricks on me. I might be doing tricks on me. But, oh, I also want to say thank you guys so much for all the love that you guys showed on the last week video. Definitely shout out to all you ones giving a shout out to Jasmine. She said thank you guys. She appreciate it. I don't know that she actually comment down in the video. But I was like, Jasmine, did you see the um comments? How people was telling you congratulations, they're proud of you and all that? She was like, I did. I said, girl, girl, oh, girl. She was like, no, mom, was you saying like I didn't see it? I said, I don't know, because it was on my channel, not your channel. So I don't know. Did you see it or not? But I was just letting you know. But child, teenagers, child, oh, my God. But thank you guys so much, because, honey, I want to just do something to her. But I don't want to go to jail, so I ain't going to be doing stuff like that. Though. I can't do that now. But um, anyway, so now we're going to go ahead and start getting prepared for the cook. What I'm going to cook is... Pretty much some yellow rice and some baked pork chops. And I'm going to cook some cabbage as well. Well, I did have cooked the cabbage yesterday. Yesterday, but nobody actually did cook. I mean, eat the cabbage. So, therefore, honey, we're going to put that back on the stove because this cabbage is going to get it. Somebody going to eat this cabbage. If it has to be me, I'm just going to eat it. But that's pretty much what I'm getting prepared for the cook and everything. So, after that, shortly, I go back, get the rest of these clothes, fold them on up, take them on out, and then help Andre with his homework. Child, get it all done, child. This is a full day's work, him, child. I need to get paid some type of something, some vacation, spa day, foot rub, hell, pedicure. I don't know. 
something. Peace. Peace. I take that for 100. But I don't dare to. I'm too fragile. And for that, I do apologize. Maybe someday we can work it out. But I'm afraid it's too late to try. Baby, I don't dare to love you. And you know the reason why. Don't you know I'm way too weak to swim? Can't you feel the waves come crashing in? Running out of safety nets. Cause every night, every night. Maybe someday we could work it out, but I'm afraid it's too late to try. Baby, I don't dare to love you, and you know the reason why. Don't you know I'm way too weak to swim? Can't you feel the waves come crashing in? Running out of safety nets, cause every night, every night, hey! I fall down in the middle of the night, screaming, oh my God, cause you love too deep. You know you love.
Hey y'all. So I'm back from the um the dentist office. Well, I showed y'all I was back, but came home to start washing clothes, which those clothes are done now, so I need to put those in the dryer, the white clothes. I put up most of the clothes. I haven't put up dray clothes yet, but so it's usually what a, what a day would look like, a full day, a working mom day would look like in my life. So when I went to the dentist, I told you guys I was getting the um, the deep tissue and all that done. The, the cleaning try to deep tissue. I got it done. Gums sensitive at this point here. Um, they gave me like this moth wash to use because I got to actually get three root canals done. I think it was just one because I knew it had to be something because you know I was telling you all it was a travel pain. So it's very sensitive. It's actually three. The um three molars right here. So I gotta get those done. I gotta make an appointment for the, um, a specialist. So I go to them, to the dentist, go back to them and get the crowns done. Excuse Andre, he over there playing. So that's that. And one thing is another. We're gonna start with the first one first. All right, so what's the first thing you do first when you get your paper? Write your name. Write your name. Spell your name. A. Uh huh. N. Mm hmm. D. Uh huh. Do I write uppercase D or lowercase D? A lowercase D. A and D. Uh huh. Uh huh. E. All right. S A. S D. No. What is your sight word? Uh. Okay, so now I'll read that over again. She is at mm -hmm. the school. Good job. Okay, so what we're doing, I would say, it says draw you the number. Try. Okay. Trace the circle. How many corners and sides? Zero, zero, zero corners and zero sides. Okay, so why it has zero corners and zero sides? Because it's a circle as well. Oh, okay, good job. Uh, okay, we're doing math. So solve these problems. Uh, <laughs> so what's six take away three? Six minus three is what? Uh, uh, All right. So you got six. All right. And you take away three. Take away three. Not three. All right, good job. So we have nine minus five. <laughs> Um, five. Mm -hmm. Can you help me? Cause I don't know how to do Okay, so if you got five, if you got five on one hand and five on this hand, take away one finger down. That'll be nine right there. Yeah. So nine minus five. Take away so, five. So take away five right here. No. Slow right down. Here? Slow down. Okay, you holding up nine at this point. If five fingers on one hand and it say nine minus five, so which hand would you take away? This one. Okay, then so how many fingers you holding up? Um, no, four. Good job. Have standing up. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, good job, six. Why are you laughing? Yes, you kind of know your fingers, boy. I remember those days coming up when I was your age. <laughs> so, okay, go on. <laughs> Open my eye. Now, let's focus. Let's focus. All right, Queens of King. Oh, child, this is not a good angle, girl. It made me have a double chin that way. It's not a good angle, but, um, well, it's just going to have to end like this. So... <laughs> But anyways, Queens Kings, that is going to be it for today's video or for this week video here. Much as I could have recorded. Today was pretty much like a full day in the life of a working mom for me. I went to the dentist, worked, dentist, came home and did all the stuff that I pretty much needed to get done. I still have a load of clothes that I need to wash, not wash, but um, put away. 
I'll probably do it tomorrow. Most likely I'll do it tomorrow. But that's going to be it. Andre is not dieting. I took his bath and stuff. Hey. I gave him some, um, what it called? Melatonin. <laughs> the little gummies. Baby. Them things help me out because Andre will stay up long as hell. But anyways, that's pretty much going to be it for me getting it all done. I'm tired, so now I'm going to go take me a bath. And I will talk to you queens and kings in the next one. You guys continue to be royal. And remember, that crown may tilt, baby. But a damn show won't fall. Bye-bye.